Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Waikiki, or as our ancient forefathers might have called it, the land of no parking. Yeah. I can't take it. I had a roughest time coming down. I hope you don't mind me sharing this with you. This guy blocks my intersection. I hate that, you know? You're driving up, and the guy trying to save time comes like this, and what do you do? You kind of, from your seat, try to throw the hint, you know? And then, and then they pretend like they don't see you. And I love this one, you know? So what I did, I just gave him the horn, man. And then he asked me the dumbest question. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, did you want to go through here? Oh, no, no, bro. My car moves sideways. You know what I mean? uh, that's weird. Uh, cars, man. I don't know. Is it worth it? I went and bought a gallon of gas today. I walked up and I said, could I have a dollar? The guy doesn't even turn on the pump. He gives me what's left in the hose. You know? <laughs> oh, man. I'm actually uh, kind of uh, glad to be driving. I just got my license. I know it's kind of weird. I just didn't want to take that test. Written tests blow my mind, you know? And the one question outstanding, you all took it, right? Yeah. What do you do when you strike an unattended vehicle? Well, that's easy, bro. Split. <laughs> you know what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to leave a note, right? Who would do that, you know? If you ever whack somebody's car, leave this note. Or just when whack your car. People are standing around looking at me. They think I'm leaving my name. Wap your jaws, bro. I did. No, actually, I'm feeling pretty good. I lasted Friday the 13th. That was fun, a little last. You know, I had bad luck on that day. I won a contest on that day. You know what I won? A trip to Hawaii. <laughs> I just... But things have been working great for me. I'm back to work now. I took some time off recently to get married, you know. Thank you. <laughs> no, just... That was fun, going to look for rings, you know. The lady behind the counter asked my wife, well, uh, what kind of ring you like? My wife tell her, oh, I like the one with the little Connie Conrad. <laughs> For uh, those of you who might not be familiar with Connie Conrad, he, he does a commercial here locally, superimposed in a giant diamond. He's really nice. You've seen him, you know. Aloha, friends. <laughs> Great store. I don't mean to put it down. Security Diamond. I love that name. As opposed to what? Insecure Diamond? You know, I just, oh, I wish you'd call me Ruby. <laughs> Great store, though. The, uh, you know, it's full of those Japanese girls with the blue eyelids with the tape on top. You know, you know? With the chandeliers on their hands, you know? And the boobs by Mattel. Yeah. <laughs> Where am I going with this? I, Actually, it, it was fun, yeah. God, I, her dad scared me to death. He's the one that got me during the marriage, man. Oh, big Hawaiian guy, you know what I mean? I'm talking about big, you know? Yeah, so much mass, he's affected by the moon. You know? I'm serious, high tide, he has no neck, you know? God, he says, boy, how many years you been going with my daughter and all of a sudden you like get married? How come? I couldn't lie to him. I looked him straight in the eye and said, Well, sir, we'd like to have sex. And if you believe that, I've got some land in the big island I'd like to talk to. No, actually, a lot of exciting things have been happening in my life. Uh, working in Waikiki, I, God, I was so stoked, man. I found out I got the job. You know, I went right out, bought the white shoes. <laughs> Got Danny Kalekini to teach me how to talk. Oh, <laughs> You know, the Kukui Nutley is coming, yeah. Uh, oh, no, it's supposed to be Red Carnation, yeah. Yeah, no, but you know, these people, international audiences, I'm, I'm just thrilled to be able to play for them. But this guy out here, I couldn't believe him, you know, from somewhere he stands there, he talks to the girl. Excuse me there. Oh. What kind of entertainment y'all got here? Oh, first of all, we get the guy Boomatai. Does that come with a back scratcher? 
And he sees me on the side. He's carrying this pineapple. You know, okay? you got to imagine that. He walks up. Oh, excuse me there, uh, son. Uh, I can answer me a question if you could. Can, can you eat the whole pineapple? Oh, shoot, bro. Just put mayonnaise on the leafy part. Just right on. They call that a Hawaiian arachok. You eat that, you're hot. Chok, bro. <laughs> yeah. you, you know what I like? What I really like is the, uh, the tourists. Everybody else is visitors. You know, tourists, when they, uh, they, they go that extra step and actually attempt to speak pigeon English. You know, I, you, you know what I'm talking about. You talk to them. Oh, uh, bro, you know what? Uh, we go to my house, you know, just uh, party like that, you know, drink some beers, you know, party hardy, eat some poke aku, whatever. Well, you like go or what? Oh, me like stay, go your house, cow cow. <laughs> More shocker, Brazier. <laughs> uh, but, but reverse the situation. How about the local boys, when they come to town, pass the test, Become cops. <laughs> yeah, hey, now I know the cops are having their problems, and I just want, you know, personally, I think it takes a lot of hard work and guts to be a cop. It does. Uh, what do you think, huh? Yeah. That's right, man. You gotta go to school to learn how to drive with your hand hanging out the window. <laughs> you know, with the green jade ring and reflecto glasses. <laughs> if I get a ticket on the way home. <laughs> Cops, they love to have that hand out the window, don't they? I saw a cop the other day, it was raining, right? His window rolled up this far, his hand stuck out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the best is when they find themselves in court having to defend a ticket they passed out, realizing they better talk perfect English. Huh? Oh, oh, that's right, your honor, sheep. I was hiding a park on the side when I noticed his excessive rate of fastness. So I am pursued a vehicle in one catching manner. I was one white Caucasian male, approximately uh, 32 years of age, kind of panty looking. Oh, he gave me a hassle, so I uh, broke his ass. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, busted his old calling. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, this is, this is all there is. I'm thinking it's just getting used to wherever you happen to be. People are so much fun and enjoying. That's the whole trip, right? And I wanted to uh, share something with you that I read in the f uh, phone book, but I, I, I need to have one. Does, does anyone have like a regular Honolulu telephone directory? <laughs> Anybody, just hold it up if you have it. Come on, I just like to have one. Just kind of hold it up high so I might be able to see it. Could, oh, oh, thank you, ma'am. Could I borrow yours, please? Thank you, okay. Uh, no, that's okay, ma'am. We already have one. <laughs> Listen, uh, I need a volunteer. Could you help me, please? Could you help me? Just, I just need somebody to hold this book. Could you please? Uh, that's not a request, it's a command. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, you don't mind, I brought. Okay, right here. Oh, hi, hi, what's your name? Susan. Hi, Susan. Uh, could you hold this for me, please? Like that? Just uh, in the front? Yeah. Just no, put it underneath. Right there. Now just open it up to page 14A, right there. I got it marked. Okay. Okay. Uh, is that too heavy for you? No. Okay, good. Yeah. Filipinos usually, they're not used to it. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. I... They have smaller arms. Can you believe these? You know, are you Filipino? Yeah. You're very beautiful. I'm Filipino, too. <laughs> wrong with these people? Okay, now I just want to show you this. Uh, could you, sh no, no, 14A, baby. Just hold it up there. Filipinos, you got to tell them everything. Right? <laughs> okay, uh, now, could you show those people over there? They paid too. Okay. Okay, now this is the civil defense warning procedures. This is the sirens that go off in the first working day of every month. You need to know this. It says, read this on the top of the page. Okay, now there's a steady siren tone. This is the attention alert signal. You should tune your radio. And a little picture of man tuning his radio. Okay? Now, the wailing siren tone. 
This is the attack warning signal. You should take protective action. Little picture of man taking protective action. <laughs> Hawaii, we call it digging out. Yeah, okay. Now, this is the most important one, okay? This is no siren signal. This means attack without warning. <laughs> you don't believe that, go home, you know what I mean? I love that. Thank you, baby, for helping me. I just thought I'd share that with you. Big hand for baby over here. Isn't she pretty? <clears throat> okay, I got it. How many, uh, let's see. Let me just take a, a, a vote here. Uh, now, do we have any tourists here this evening? No? Okay. <laughs> let's pretend that we are all local people from Hawaii. We just arrived on the mainland. We're a tour group. I'll be a tour escort, okay? <laughs> okay, you guys can't hear me. Okay, Kengi, hey, we made it. We are in Kansas City. Uh, nice to know it's never sell all that Portuguese sausage for nothing. Okay, uh, before we get started, I'd just like to start with the official Kansas City greeting. Hello, everybody, and how are you? I'll see we got some first timers here. Eh? Come on, everybody together, answer me back. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, we always like to do that in the beginning because here in Kansas, how are you means a lot of different things. It means hi and it means how's it, hang tight, but mostly it means having good fun in this land of how are you. How are you? Okay. Time to get started. Now, I know a lot of you guys kind of anxious to get on the buses, but I know you will notice that the people on the mainland really talk funny kind. So, I'm going to teach you some words. Now, when somebody tell you something you know believe, you cannot just say, not. <laughs> okay, you're on the mainland now, you got to say, I doubt it. You guys get it. Come on now. Everybody together say it with me. I doubt it. Oh, that was terrible. Come on, one more time. I gotta make sure you get them. One more time. Say it with me. I doubt it. It perps that time. Okay, now the next one. When you eat one strange food item, and they get plenty here on the mainland. I don't know how they survive. Okay, and you don't like that item, you cannot just go, oh, wow, jump. <laughs> You're in Kansas City now, you gotta go, ew. <laughs> okay, come on now, everybody together, say it with me, ew. <laughs> Perhaps. Now, one last question. I know you're anxious to get on the bus. Some of you going on the Knit Goods Factory tour. Some guys going to check out the Cold Storage House tour. Uh, in the Cold Storage, uh, one, just one note, uh, Tufi, yeah, uh, not gonna make it rocky with the meat. <laughs> okay, yeah, brother. Okay, uh, Okay, now, uh, oh yeah, now one last question. Everybody has been asking about the snow behind the big tree in the back. I'll get bad news for you guys, man. What you ain't eat was not pineapple shave ice. <laughs> no Hawaiians eat anything, eh, you bugger? Yeah, the doctor said your breath gonna stink only a little while. So be careful and enjoy. Thank you. Eh? What do you think of that? Yeah? Okay, this is my whole trip. Are you guys enjoying yourself? Let me hear you say, yeah. So let me hear you say, yeah. Well, you guys would do anything, eh? No, actually, uh, you know what? I, I want to share something with you, kind of personal. I got recognized the other day. That's always so flattering, you know, but I'm walking into the bathroom of the shorebird right over here, that, that little, new little place on the side, right? <laughs> this guy is washing his hands. I walk in, he goes, Are you the guy? You the guy and the pumata. <laughs> so, uh, hey, Ra, I seen you on the radio, man. <laughs> so, uh, so what you doing in the bathroom? <laughs> so you had two guesses. I don't know. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to be anything else but an anonymous pair of legs in a stall? Huh? I hear the guy outside, Ra. 
You know who's in there? The first stall. Andy Bumatai, bro. And we're going to listen, man. He's going to be funny. <laughs> I hate being in those little stalls. You know, you're sitting there like this, hoping somebody will crawl over the top. You know what I mean? Trying to think of something witty to write on the wall. Oh, I got it. Wendy's hot and juicy. <laughs> the hamburgers. Okay, now the guy stand there, and all of a sudden you hear, somebody get in the stall next to you. Oh, wow, nice shoes. Oh, look at that. Nice belt, too. You ever wanted to look? Take a little peek. I did one time. I just looked, man. You know what I saw? Another guy staring at me. You gotta be careful nowadays, you know. You, you never know who's ma who, you know what I mean? Sorry? Some of you look confused. Mahu, that's a Hawaiian word. It uh, means male hairstylist. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. No, come on, come on. I don't mind the homosexuals. I get my hair cut by those guys, but, you know, they make me kind of nerdish. You know what I mean? When they talk collectively, it bothers me. Oh, well, look at this. I think what we'll do is we'll just wash it first. <laughs> And then we'll just condition it, uh, maybe a henna. <laughs> and, uh, oh, look at this, we have some split ends now. We'll deal with those now, won't we? <laughs> oh, you know what, bro? I'm kind of tired, what? You can't catch them by yourself, or? <laughs> and then they try to put that hot towel on your face. Then I gotta tell them, hey, bro, bro, leave one eye open. <laughs> Why? My dad used to cut my hair, you know? What a trip, man. I could always tell when it was coming. Hey, boy! Touching fenders! <laughs> so I take it from touching fenders to showing white walls. He <laughs> okay, loved to comb it. You know, two fingers full of the brilliant teen. You Filipinos can relate to that. You know? <laughs> Rub them in. And then right in the front, the crowning glory, every surfer's dream, the perfect wave. <laughs> My friends in school used to call me Tsunami. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Andrew, surf's up, man! <laughs> it was like radar. I could hear it better. <laughs> God. My dad was such a fun guy. <laughs> His favorite sport in the whole world was getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, going to the kitchen and chasing roaches. And if he found one, he had to run, get his favorite can of insecticide, sneak up on the roach, and hit him with the can. <laughs> kind of roaches we had, man. You can't just spray them. You spray them. Oh, thanks for the bath. <laughs> I'm talking about those big ones, you know what I mean? Right? The ones you turn on the garage light, you hear your car door slam. You know? <laughs> How they're in there playing the radio, you know what I mean? <laughs> I tell you, and you try to kill them, they are indestructible, you know that, huh? You step on them, you hear that noise, <laughs> lift up your foot, they'll <laughs> fool you about. <laughs> I hate bugs. Huh? Especially flies. You ever go to the beach, you and all your friends, there's one fly and the only buzz around you? <laughs> Incredible. Mosquitoes, how about them? Huh? You know, you're trying to sleep late at night, you know. You're just there trying to go to sleep and you go to the bathroom, you get back in the bed, you know what I mean? Just about to crash out, you hear a noise, you gotta go back, jiggle the handle, you know what I mean? Now, just about to do it again, and then you hear. <laughs> Where did <that> bugger win? <laughs> you gotta shake your whole body. You don't know where you landed, huh? Little impression here. My impression of a mosquito 
having lunch. <laughs> Big, eh? It's <laughs> when Samoan must get over. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no applause, please. Nothing worse than a mercy clap. <laughs> Here's one. I call it traffic report. Hey, things are fine on the Poly Highway. Let's check out Dillingham Boulevard. <laughs> you like the impressions? Okay. Here's one. John Travolta. Say, so, baby, you have to go dance with me? Come on, be good for you. I'll walk you to the floor. Don't oh, you love that picture of John Travolta? You know? Every time I see it, I think to myself, I'm a little teapot short and stop. Here is my handle. But how about disco, though? I like that once in a while. That's fun. You ever see that thing on TV? What is it? Uh, disco break? Uh, dance lessons on TV? Yeah. Fun. You ever tried to learn anything from that? No lie. I know you was up in your underwear. God, you not only need to be well coordinated, huh? You need to be a memory expert at the same time. God. You know what I mean? Okay, here's Andy with the latest disco break. We'd like all of you at home to travel with me now. Follow step by step. Spin step two, one sway, two, three, two more chop, flip to the gentleman, two, three, four, kick leg, show panties, see you next week. <laughs> hey, bro, I'll never get them. Yeah, and I tell you, I like discos, they're fun, you know. I like to watch the black guys try to pick up the local girls, huh? I'm talking about those cats, Schofield, I heard for two weeks looking for one Hawaiian, you know what I mean? Talk about it, man. The guys, I love the ethnic exchange, only in Hawaii, you know? <coughs> Say, Mama, how you like the trip to La Fantastic with y'all shooting? You are the apple of my eye. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I'm resting. <laughs> Come on, Mama, don't be like that. No, shut and John Pimp Play Notes, no. Come on, let's get out on our dance floor and get it on. <laughs> I don't dance with Popolos. <laughs> Bro, Polo, like you know, Mama, I hate horses, okay? <laughs> Some of you look confused. I'm sorry, I used the Hawaiian word, Popolo. That's Hawaiian for basketball player, right? <laughs> no, no, I, no I, I, I apologize for that last line. I don't know why I say those things. I guess it's because I'm actually kind of envious of the black guys. Not for that reason. <laughs> I mean, black guys know how to sh show their emotion, you know? This turns the girls on, it does. I mean, they see a beautiful young lady and it physically hurts them, huh? And they go, ow! <laughs> style, you know what I'm talking about? Everybody's got their own style. Japanese, they kill me. They, they, they end up, they talk to their wives, they sound like a sword fight, you know? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to offend anybody. Do we have any Japanese tourists here that don't speak English? No? Okay. You know, you go to these Japanese movies, huh? You know you're losing something when they show you those subtitles, don't you? Huh? It goes... How have you been? Hey, bro, I prayed my tree 50, what'd he say? <laughs> Filipinos are great, too. They talk, they sound like boiling water, you know? <laughs> and Chinese, they just love to go up at the end. You know what I said? <laughs> Why they fight, they sound like cats fighting, you know? <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm right. <laughs> yeah. oh, You're getting a big one on your nose. Oh, what about the Samoan? 
I think some wines. <laughs> well, I talk about some wines, but you back me up. <laughs> right. No, no, I have, I have I have nothing against the Samoans, okay? I have Samoan furniture. I get one big. Most of you have Samoan furniture, you don't even know it. One sofa. <laughs> Samoans, they, they're so powerful, yeah? You know, they're looking, you know, that big afro, yeah? They look like an atom bomb going off. <laughs> I like that, but blacks really, they, 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 they ought to let them take over McDonald's. Wouldn't that be great? Can you imagine that? The blacks taking over McDonald's. I think the first thing they would do is change the name of that double beef burger. And they'd call it Bad Mac. That's right, sucker. And when you get a Bad Mac attack, you don't care nothing about no meat. You hungry for some buns, mama. Thank you very much. Good night.